Of course. What day in the life of times of a glazer doesn't begin on hands and knees? <laughs> I got up this in time, eh? They get off the fucking knees. The day in the life and times of glazer man <laughs> practicing safety. Right? Safety. Oops, oh, that's if you want to be a bitch, don't be like this. Try it off, safe and secure. Going to the slab edge, only to fall a couple of feet. Don't hurt yourself. Membrano. Some details. See that stuff right there? It just fell out of this pocket, out of this safety vest, every day, all day long, seven days a week. I love the engineering. Safety first. Safety first. Now I gotta go down there and retrieve my stuff. Uh, everything in this pocket. Safety. Safety. Working on some membrane. So, up there, there's a piece of uh, galvanized that was added to close the, the gap that's here. Because we're not supposed to... What, what's the terminology that we use in the glazing field? For what? Tenting. No tenting allowed. So that means covering a gap of greater than, I'm not sure what the standard is, I think it's three eighths or even a quarter inch is probably two, uh, a maximum that they allow for. So there's still three eighths there. This is after the, they fixed the gap that was one inch and still left three eighths. Is that, is that normal? Is that a standard or typical on both sides? Anyways. Just point of interest. Everything is uh, um, reverse lapped. Reverse lapped. Shingle effect, right? This will get placed here after this. After this gets removed, that's holding the, sc the scaffold. The blazer man. Danger, danger, danger. Okay. Again, I know these are the ridiculous things you gotta ask yourself these questions. Ropes are tied off to a column. That column will withstand 5,000 pounds as these ropes. The line grab, the lanyard, and the harness. All the components of the system conforming to the standard. Question is, how does it work? Can't tie off to that. That's not rated for safety. We run a safety line from the roof of the building down to the first floor so you can tie off safely. And then again, what, what is safety? Being tied off and tripping over your safety ropes all day long, potentially falling to your death. Well, maybe not to your death, but you'll fall until your fall restraint system uh, activates. I do believe the, that's about 18 feet, depending on the length of your lanyard. So. From this point to this point is not, is less than 18 feet. What's the point of having a fall arrest system if it's not going to arrest your fall when you fall to the first floor? 
These are the questions we ask ourselves in the field. And the safety officers that tell us we have to follow safety standards safety, don't have safety. any answers for these questions. So I'm putting it out to you guys out there in the field for some input, some thoughts and feelings about safety and anything to do with windows, um, air sealing, membraning, caulking, whatever.